Hey guys, Lewis here from thelanguagescientist.com and in today's video I'm going to do a Rocket Languages uh, Spanish review. So I'm going to review uh, Rocket Spanish. So this is a Rocket Spanish review which is a tool for learning Spanish and a lot of people have asked me to actually review this uh, website. So by the way, I have a link to Rocket Spanish. You can click the link in the description. This is going to lead you to the pricing page with a discount applied if you want to check it out. So Rocket Spanish is actually very interesting because it's a tool from the Rocket Languages company. They have multiple language courses and that company is located in New Zealand, you know, out of all places. And it's one of the oldest language learning companies. I remember, you know, back in the days they already had those courses and Rocket Spanish is actually the first course that they released in 2005. So it's been almost, you know, 20 years at this point. And um, so I'm going to be answering multiple questions in this video. First of all, can you get fluent in Spanish using uh, Rocket Spanish, like assuming that you're, you, you're only using Rocket Spanish and nothing else and you're a total beginner or you have some, you know, very little knowledge of Spanish, can you actually get uh, fluent just doing that? And the second question I'm going to answer is how can you get the best price possible for uh, Rocket Spanish because, you know, they, they run this uh, sort of weird uh, discount system. I'm going to explain that a little bit later. But essentially, I'm going to be using my own experience of, uh, you know, learning multiple languages, uh, you know, such as English. This is my second language. My first language is French. And I'm going to, uh, you know, answer this que these questions using my experience as well as my knowledge of SLA, which is second language acquisition which is essentially the science of language learning. I've read a lot about you know, the science of language learning and I'm going to use that knowledge to answer, uh, to evaluate the, the different features of uh, Rocket Spanish. So let me give you the, the, the TLDR, the summary of this whole video first. If your goal is to learn Spanish in, in order to you know, pass uh, you know, exams or for work-related stuff, Rocket Spanish is probably not uh, the right tool for you. But if you're looking for an all-in-one tool, a comprehensive tool to get you to a conversationally fluent level in Spanish in a very short amount of time without having to pay a teacher, then Rocket Spanish is probably one of the best tools on the market. Now, why is that? Well. Rocket Spanish is actually unapologetic, while the, the Rocket Languages company is unapologetic about their goal, uh, about their focus on uh, conversations. As a matter of fact, their motto is something like, uh, let's, get, let's get you talking or something like that. And so Rocket Spanish is one of those rare tools, if not the only tool, that actually allows you to take part in Spanish conversations in real time and actually grade your pronunciation. And I'm going to get into more details on how that works a little bit later. But um, also Rocket Spanish is actually for uh, Latin American Spanish. So if you're set on learning you know, Castilian uh, Spanish, then Rocket Spanish may not be for you. So uh, let me get into first uh, the pricing. How much does Rocket Spanish actually cost? Well, Rocket Spanish actually has three levels and the, price, the prices are, you know, they may be a little bit uh, expensive at first, um, but keep in mind that these are actually lifetime prices. So you, if you buy the courses, you get lifetime access. That, that is uh, very much unlike most competitors who are doing you know, month monthly pricing, which actually ends up being uh, just as expensive in the end, if not more expensive. So with Rocket Spanish, once you buy a course, uh, once you buy the different levels of a course, you actually get it for life. And so in addition to that, Rocket Spanish has actually, you know, if you look at the pricing page, which again, there's a link in the description, the prices may seem a little bit prohibitive, but it's a bit uh, strange because actually Rocket Spanish runs these uh, discounts all the time, those pretty significant discounts. As an, and as a matter of fact, they're currently offering uh, $189.95 off of their most expensive plan, which is for the free levels of Rocket Spanish. So 
Again, you can check the link in the description of this video to find out what their current discount is, but you know, most of the time they're running some type of discount. So uh, you don't need to actually get your wallet out right away because Rocket Spanish has a seven day free trial and they have also a 60 day uh, money back guarantee. So it's, uh, there's no risk here. So now let's talk about the sort of on the high level how uh, Rocket Spanish is actually organized. So the entire Rocket Spanish course actually consists of three levels. If you buy, you know, the three levels, which I recommend that you do. And these levels are split into five to 10 modules. It depends on the level. And each module has around, you know, approximately on average five interactive audio lessons, which in my opinion are the main content of uh, Rocket Spanish. And they also have around five uh, language and uh, cultural uh, lessons. So each lesson is going to be, it kind of varies, but you should expect to spend about 15 to 45 minutes for a single lesson. Now, in addition with each lesson actually comes uh, you know, multiple uh, supplementary activities and these take around five to 10 minutes. So, uh, you know, overall, I think your goal if you purchase a Rocket Spanish should be to in the end complete about a lesson a day. I think this would be a good uh, sort of average. Now, let me show you what you can expect from the lessons. As I said earlier, the first type of lessons, and in my opinion, this is the main, um, the main value of Rocket Spanish, and these are the interactive audio lessons. And these lessons are actually centered around a conversation in Spanish. And there is also an English speaker who is going to explain some of the concepts of that conversation to you kind of like a moderator of sorts. And this is kind of similar to SpanishPod101.com, which is a tool that I have reviewed in the past. But the big difference here is that these lessons are a lot more interactive in the sense that you will be asked uh, questions, which allows you to actually stay focused and remember things better because you're doing retrieval, you know, a lot of recall. I've talked about this in many of my videos. This is actually good to be, to do recall instead of recognition. This is a deep level of mental processing. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But so think of Rocket Spanish as kind of a mix uh, between like a SpanishPod101.com, which has you know a bunch of audio lessons, and Pinsler, which also has audio lessons, but uh, at the same time, it's very, very interactive. But you get a lot more, uh, a lot more grammar than Pinsler. And it actually gets even more interactive than that. After listening to the lesson, you can take uh, you can take you can take the place of one of the Spanish speakers in the in the lesson, and so you're going to actually record yourself uh, having a conversation in Spanish. And so your pronunciation will actually get graded on the website, and they use a recognition a voice recognition tool. And it's really not a gimmick. It's actually a very serious feature. And Rocket Spanish uses the Google's Web Speech API, which is essentially a tool made by Google for voice recognition. This means that Rocket Spanish actually relies on Google technology, which is very much you know, advanced to grade your pronunciation. And you know, Google, uh, Google's uh, Web Speech API is considered one of the most advanced uh, APIs in terms of you know voice recognition because they have tons of data because they do machine learning and all these kinds of things. Now, uh, at the end of the day, there's no doubt that the voice recognition feature is not perfect. I, I tried it myself. Uh, it will fail sometimes, and but the simple fact that you can actually take part in the conversation is a huge plus. But um, Rocket Spanish actually does this with entire conversations. This uh, simulates kind of a real uh, conversation situation in the sense that you're kept on your toes at all time. You need to be careful. You know, this is very much unlike a lot of tools out there which require you like, for example, you know, Duolingo or Glossica, for example. You need to say things out loud, but those are just sentences or single words, and it doesn't really simulate a real conversation. So if you only do those tools, yes, they're great, but there's going to be a problem of transfer. When you use tools, uh, you know, uh, things that are not like Rocket Spanish, then 
uh, when you get into a real conversation, you'll find that there are skills that you will not have. Whereas, you know, with Rocket Spanish, you're actually having almost, you know, quasi real conversations in Spanish. One thing I absolutely love about these interactive lessons is, is that you can actually do them on the go. So there's no need to be in front of a computer screen. And personally, as a software developer, uh, I spend my days in front of computers. And the last thing I wanna do when I go back home is actually spend another hour in front of a computer. So as a, you know, as a software developer, this is something that I really love. And it is true that some of the activities you're not going to be able to uh, complete because you, know, you don't have access to a computer if you're doing it on the go. But you know, most of the activities and the transcript, the transcript that you can read on the website, these are not central to the lesson. So it's definitely a good idea. It's definitely acceptable for you to do all of the lessons, the interactive audio lessons, on the go. That's perfectly acceptable and you will get uh, very good results. Uh, now I wanna talk about the second type of uh, lessons which are language and cultural lessons. And so these lessons actually cover grammatical points as well as uh, cultural information. And so this is kind of the textbook part of uh, Rocket Spanish and the big difference between Rocket Spanish and uh, a Spanish textbook is that you will actually have some audio embedded into the web page uh, and exercises, you know, interactive exercises at the end of the lessons to strengthen your knowledge. And so keep in mind that the interactive audio lessons, which are the first type of, uh, of lessons, also cover a lot of grammar. But you know, the second type of lesson, the language and cultural lessons, cover them, uh, cover the grammatical points in a lot more uh, depth. With that being said, the grammar lessons are actually pretty short. So don't expect to find you know walls of text and you know walls of, of grammar like in, in textbooks. Rocket Spanish actually does a pretty good job of breaking down uh, grammatical points into digestible chunks. All right, so now let's talk about uh, sort of the main disadvantage and in my opinion, uh, the big, uh, the elephant in the room kind of. So after a few weeks of using Rocket Spanish, I think that a lot of people will start to find it pretty boring as a matter of fact, there's no doubt about this. And you know, there's some truth to it. Um, it is definitely boring, but look, it's not because Rocket Spanish is boring, it's mainly because you're not good at Spanish. It's because you're at a beginner level. My point is this, it doesn't matter what tool you, you use in the beginning, whether it's Rocket Spanish, whether it's Pinsler, whether it's you know, uh, Glossica or SpanishPod101.com, you know, you're at the beginner stage, so it will always be boring. It doesn't matter on what tool you use, it's going to be boring. And that's mainly because you can't understand Spanish and you're not good at it, you're not good at it yet. And so, for example, personally, I've reached a pretty high level in Japanese and in English as well. And so I'm able to study Japanese using Netflix, for example. I can just watch shows and make flashcards using those shows. And it's certainly a lot more fun than doing Rocket Spanish. There's no doubt about this. But the only reason why I'm able to do this in the first place is because I put a lot of hours in and I worked through the beginner and intermediate stages uh, 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 levels in, in Japanese. So it doesn't matter what tool you use, being a beginner and intermediate, you know, lower intermediate is going to be boring. There's no doubt about this. What you need to do and what you need to have is a tool that allows you to work through this initial, you know, boring phase as efficiently as fast as possible. And so Rocket Spanish is exactly that kind of tool. It's going to help you to work through that beginner and intermediate, uh, those intermediate stages a lot faster than other tools. And it's an all-in-one tool. You only need that one, uh, that site in order to uh, progress through uh, those stages. You don't need anything else. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to do about, uh, all, all I wanted to say about Rocket Spanish. So Rocket Spanish is no doubt uh, one of the most comprehensive uh, Spanish courses on the market right now. And once again, you can uh, check out the link in the description 
to get to the pricing page of uh, Rocket Spanish with a discount applied. It depends on when you click on the link, but you'll have a discount. If you're interested in more uh, product reviews and some of my advice on language learning, you can go to the languagescientist.com and I'll see you in the next one.